I know I was doing air quotes, but it kind of looked like bunny ears who were just dancing along. Anyway, okay, so yeah, these are just uh, things to have in your car if you're gonna be driving for longer than an hour. But just trust me, you just hook it to your steering wheel and now it's a desk. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is just like right here. It's like, hey, talk about me. And I'm like, okay, I'll talk about you. Again, like most of these products, I think everyone should have one of these, whether you're in a car or not. And this is really good to have. I feel like I'm holding it very awkwardly. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about road trip essentials. I do these videos maybe two or three times a year because I have gone on, I don't even know how many road trips, like 500, 1,000? 7,432, like I really don't know, but a lot, a lot of road trips. And I actually just got back from like a three and a half week road trip going to New York and South Carolina. And yeah, so I like to do these videos a couple times a year and I just figured right now was a good time because I just went on a road trip. And in a lot of my past road trip essential videos, I know I was doing air quotes, but it kind of looked like bunny ears who were just dancing along. Anyway, in my past videos like this, I would talk about road trip essentials and living in a car essentials and sleeping in a car essentials because I used to live and sleep in my car. But in this specific video, I'm just going to talk about road trip essentials that kind of have not nothing to do with living or sleeping in a car, but essentials that are separate from living and sleeping in a car. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, these are just uh, things to have in your car if you're gonna be driving for longer than an hour. Okay, all right, cool. So let's just get started. Oh, and I don't know if I already said this, you can buy most of these on Amazon, so I'll have them all linked below on my Amazon affiliate link below. Okay, so um, what do I start with? Oh, the love of my life, probably. I have talked about most of these several times, but I just wanna have them all in like one little list for you guys to be handy, you know? Okay, number one. This is the love of my life. I have a couple loves of my life. This is one of them. This is a like $16, $20, $14 steering wheel desk. And so literally you just take this and you hook it to your steering wheel. I can't like really show you, but just trust me, you just hook it to your steering wheel and now it's a desk. And I use this all the time, even if I'm not on a road trip, but I'm just kind of gonna go to a park or go to the grocery store or whatever. Literally, I use this all the time. If I'm gonna have a snack, I will use this. If I wanna write something down, I will use this. Uh, especially if I'm gonna use my computer, because sometimes I like to edit in the car at a park, I will use this. Again, whether I'm on a road trip or not, I use this all the time. I use this all the time and they're not very expensive. I've had this one for years and it's still in great condition. It's like two sided. So this one kind of has like a, like an indent and like a little lip and a cup holder. And this side is flatter. So I think this side's supposed to be like for the desk side and this side is for the food side. Regardless, I love this thing. I use it all the time. Highly recommend. We'll have this link below. I don't know if they're gonna have this exact one because I got it years ago, but I will link like the most similar ones and also other options because I think they have like wood ones and like bigger ones and whatever. But honestly, honestly, if you are just ever in your car doing anything but driving. So if you park and you eat or you use a computer or anything, Highly recommend, talk about it all the time, love of my life. Okay, the next love of my life, we might as well just talk about these two, right? You guys already know what this is. I have to get it, it's on the floor. You already know what it is. Okay, again, honestly, a lot of these things are not even just for road trips, they're just for, for life. These sandals, I have had these sandals for like three-ish years, three and a half years, and I have worn them, I'm not kidding, probably 700 times. I've worn them at, probably more than that. I love these so much. They are hiking sandals. And so this is mushy. It's kind of like really thick exercise mat material. So it's really mushy. It is so comfortable. I have walked miles in these. I have hiked in Great Smoky Mountain National Park in these. They are super comfortable, no blisters. They don't hurt my bunion. I do have a bunion on my left foot and these do not hurt it whatsoever. And I love these. I have them in a couple different colors and I honestly think I'm gonna get a backup pair. I've said that for the last few months, but I think I'm gonna get a backup pair just just to have it because I never want to be without these I wear them all the time even if I'm not on a road trip even if I'm not gonna be hiking uh, even if I'm just gonna go for a little walk or go to the grocery store I will wear these they are my favorite shoes they have them in different colors these are just the black they even have different kinds of black ones because they have different materials but this specific material I have a link below perfect I love them and literally they're like 20 something dollars and they have lasted me for years. They're incredible, they're amazing. I love them, so comfortable, so comfortable. They're my favorite. I don't really wanna hug these as much because you know, they touch the ground, but I love these, I love them. Okay, this, again, honestly, 
let's just gonna say these are car essentials, okay? Yes, they're really good for road trips and really important for road trips, but honestly, if you have a car, you should really just have most of these in your car or shoes for your feet. Okay, this, highly recommend everyone should have one of these. This is a tire pressure gauge thing. Um, again, pretty inexpensive. You can get these at lots of places, but I will have like a couple linked on Amazon below. This is just really good just in case you want to check your tires on the road. Or again, if you're at a park and you're like, oh, my tire looks low, let me check it. And then your PSI, which is like the number that your tire pressure should be at, is usually, at least mine is, it's like if I open my door, there's like a bunch of numbers and stuff right here, and it says my PSI there. I think it's 32, I think, for my car. But yeah, I just think this is really important to have in the car to check your tire pressure. And then if you need to add more air to your tires, you can just go to most gas stations and stuff, have little air things for like a quarter. But really, you should have this in your car. And I just keep mine in my glove compartment. So I'm gonna put it back. Okay, the next thing that I always have in my car, but this, obviously you already have these, okay? You already have sunglasses. You're a human being, I'm sure you have sunglasses. But I think it's good to have in the car, obviously for driving, but I just wanted to share these because I love them and they're my favorite. And I think that they're really pretty. And so just in case you were in the market for new sunglasses from Amazon, Look how gorgeous these are. I love them. These are not prescription. Obviously I wear prescription glasses, but if I'm wearing contacts and or if I'm like at the beach and I don't really need to see very far away, I will wear these. But I just want to show you how gorgeous, how gorgeous these sunglasses are. I feel fancy in these. I feel fancy in these. So if you want to feel fancy and match with me, I'll have these linked below. I think they're so pretty. I love the tortoise. I love like this little thing here. Yeah, so obviously I have sunglasses, but this is just, I just wanted to show you a pair that I have, my favorite pair. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is just like right here. It's like, hey, talk about me. And I'm like, okay, I'll talk about you. These are baby wipes. And uh, no, I do not have a baby. I use these for myself on my own body and on my hands all the time. Literally the other day I was eating these. Uh, these are vegan gluten-free, I have a lot of food allergies. Vegan gluten-free like cheese balls. And these are really good, by the way, the Lesser Evil brand. I got these at Whole Foods, I think. Yeah, I think at Whole Foods a couple weeks ago. They're really good. The thing is, they're cheese balls. Well, they're vegan, but they're fake cheese balls. So they leave that dust on your finger. And I was eating them in the car and I was like, oh no. And then I got a baby wipe and all of my problems were solved because the baby wipe just cleaned my hands. But also I really like these, especially for road trips, just in case, you know, you're going for a walk, you're going on a hike, you're driving all day, whatever. If you kind of feel a little gross or sweaty, um, I just use these and I just wipe my body down and I have used them for years to wipe my body down and sometimes to even give myself like a little fake shower in the car. If I don't have access to a shower, but I'm on the road for a while, sometimes I'll just use baby wipes. And they do have like shower wipes on Amazon as well. And they are sometimes bigger than a baby wipe. You know, baby wipes are this big and sometimes the shower wipes are like a lot bigger. However, I don't know if the ingredients are much different. So I'm not really sure it's worth spending a lot more money for them. I'm not sure. I have tried them in the past, but I haven't personally noticed like a huge difference. And so I just get these. They also have, um, like feminine wipes as well, if you might wanna keep those in the car as well. Um, but baby wipes I think work great. Again, if you have cheesy hands or if you feel sweaty, multi-purpose, love these. And uh, obviously you can get baby wipes anywhere, literally anywhere. But I love having them on this little hook thing and in this little reusable pouch because I just hang them from the headrest on my passenger side and I just always have it hanging here in the front, in the back, whatever. And they have all different designs and stuff. Again, I don't know if I can find this one because I got this one years ago, but I'll find similar ones and I'll have them linked below. They have all different designs and whatever. But yeah, so I'll just buy any baby wipes. I generally prefer like the healthier, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic ones. And then you just open it on the side, put all the baby wipes in and then seal that up. And then it just has a little, little thing in the front. I just think it's really good to have them in the car, honestly, just like, they come in handy, honestly, more than you would think. Okay, just have baby wipes. And again, I really like having them on this little pouch thing that hangs. Okay, next thing. Again, you can get these anywhere. There's a hair. In the same kind of area as having baby wipes in the car, I think it is a good idea to have makeup wipes in the car. Specifically, even if you're not wearing makeup, but if you just wanna like wipe off your face, I'm sure you can use these to wipe off your face, but these are specifically made for your face. I get these anywhere. Honestly, I usually get mine from TJ Maxx or something because they're a little bit cheaper, but again, I'll have the Amazon link below. I like the simple 
cleansing wipes that's what these are but yeah even if you just have like sunscreen on your face or your moisturizer or again you get sweaty you just want to wipe your face i just like having these in the car okay my phone is overheating so i'm gonna go for a minute and i will be right back hi i'm back did you miss me you didn't notice i was gone it was two seconds hi okay so next on my list is knives you need to you need to have at least one pocket knife with you I have several I have more than this in the car this is one that I keep in my keychain look how cute and tiny I use this all the time again even when I'm not in the car I just use it all the time if I need a knife there's a little pair of scissors on here there's also a nail file but I never really use this one because I don't really like the metal ones so I just keep the regular kind of like cardboardy emery boards with me but the knife and the scissors I keep this on my keychain I just took it off to show you but the knife and the scissors I use all the time all the time like every couple days but again I think it's probably good to even have like a bigger knife a bigger Swiss Army knife this one has a lot more like tools and stuff on it but at least a little one like this you need to have this at least this but then maybe a bigger knife as well okay next only a couple things this this is another love of my life. I honestly haven't used it in a while, but I still think it's very important to have in the car. The battery's dead and it really needs to be cleaned. So I can't like show you how it works, but this is a spray fan. And so what you do is you put water or ice in here and then you turn the fan on and then it spins like a fan does and then you can spray it and so then you're spraying yourself with water and then you're putting a fan on it and we all know that if you have a little bit of water on you and then you have a fan on it's going to be even colder than just the fan by itself and so this highly recommend again i think they sell these i didn't mean to uh, remove that they sell these at walmart target whatever but again i'll have like an amazon link below for this this is by the brand o2 cool I think I actually got this one at Target again years ago. It just needs a new battery, but highly recommend if you're going to be honestly just in warm weather, whether you're in a car or not, just highly recommend a spray fan. It would be nice right now. It's um, 90 degrees. <laughs> I'm in Florida. It's hot. Um, anyway, this is a great, great thing to have again, just for existing in the world, but especially if you're in the car. And then the last two things, I could have a list of a thousand things, but I'm just kind of keeping this, you know, moderate i would say but the last two important things that again i don't use them all the time but i think they are very important to have just in case because i have used them before several times it just kind of depends what your lifestyle is again like most of these products i think everyone should have one of these whether you're in a car or not especially like if the power goes out or something like that this is a solar powered battery charger power bank thing and so they have a ton of different kinds of these, but this one, the solar power is this big, the solar panels, there's four of them. And then you can just fold it up like this when you're not using it. But basically when it's sunny out, just put this outside somewhere so you can solar power charge it. And then uh, when it's fully charged, you can close it up, button it up. And then it has USB here and that's it it has usb right here um oh and it has a little whatever that one's called micro usb i think and it has two regular usb i am also pretty sure that you can charge this with like a regular like wall plug charger thing with the usb i think that you can do that as well then if you need to charge your phone or really anything else that you can charge with usb but especially your phone a camera a kindle whatever um you can just plug it in here i think this is really good to have again even if you're in a house what if there's a storm and your power goes out and you need to charge your phone or whatever. I think this is really good to have. And then the last thing, again, that I used to use a lot when I lived in my car and I was on the road, but I still think it's good to have, kind of just in case, is a power inverter. This one is just a Duracell single plug one. It also has USB here, and it just plugs into the cigarette lighter in the car. Do new cars have cigarette lighters? I think they do, right? I have no idea. My car's in 2010, but it just plugs into the cigarette lighter. And again, it is just a single, plug and a USB. I use this a lot on the road to charge my computer. And so, and this is obviously extra good if you're driving, depending on your car. My car, this would only work when I'm driving. I know some cars, even if the car's off, you can still get power from it, not my car. So if I'm driving, I would just sometimes have my computer plugged in and this is really good to have. I feel like I'm holding it very awkwardly, but yeah, again, Amazon, you know, not very expensive. I think they sell them at Target and stuff too, but again, I'll have links for mostly Amazon in the description. And again, can I list 20 other things? Yeah. 
but I'm not going to. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and hanging out with me a little bit and just talking about road trip stuff. I know that I don't really do like sit down videos anymore, but every once in a while I'm going to, especially if it's like an important topic like this one. And I just really wanted to have this video so that I can have all the links in one spot if you're about to go on a road trip or if you're just like, I wonder what Katie would recommend that I have in my car. Well, here's the list. And again, not like a full list, but a decent sized list of really important things that I think is just good to have in the car or just to own in general. And again, I'll have all the links below, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're subscribed for some road trip kind of talks and obviously like some road trip kind of videos like I just had over the last few weeks. And then a lot of vlogs throughout the week and food videos on Sunday. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.